We're doing a demo and review of GoCopy. It's an AI copywriting tool that has both short form and long form copy capabilities. I'll be showing you how the tool works, my favorite features, and also my least favorite features of the tool. Be sure to stick around till the end because I have two special bonuses for all of you. And as always, you, you can feel free to skip around chapters by clicking the links in the description. So with that said, let's get started. All right, so gocopy.io. So they are an AI powered writing assistant to help you ideate, copyright, and get your thoughts on paper and much more. So let's see if that is the case. So I'm gonna log in. Sign in. Okay, so you are greeted with the home section right here, and you can basically look at all of the fo folders that you create and also the favorite files that you've uh, favorited. Uh, on the left, you also can click on settings that just shows you your email. You can change your email. Uh, you can reset your password, billing, and you can manage your team. And then also they do have affiliates and they also have help and support and then sign out at the bottom left. All right, so going back to home. So this is my favorite feature of the tool is the fact that you can organize your folders in a very nice way. All right, so all of your folders are, are laid out here and you can click onto them to view the actual files and then they're nested like this, so you can go back to all folders. You can create a new folder or just create a new document. And when you create a new document, you give it a name and then you select the folder you want to save that document in. All right, so let's do that right now. So let's just say we want to do a copywriting test and I wanna save it in my content machine folder and I'm gonna click on add document. And so this is how it looks like, okay, very, very, basic, very, a lot of white space and, and not a lot of, you know, things distracting you. All right. So, uh, you have, uh, different use cases you can select. So if you click on this green button, there's different ones. So there's bullet point expander, content rewriter, listicle, you can simplify things, announcement, change tone, instruct your AI what to do. Ecom, not too many e-com things, uh, social media, you can do captions, digital ads for Facebook, Instagram, Google, and LinkedIn. Uh, blog content, you could do ideas, intros, or outlines, website content, all right, so hero text, subheaders, meta descriptions, micro copy, and then the last one is email subject line, all right, so these use cases are very similar to other AI copywriters, but in terms of the amount of use cases, I think it's a little bit less than say, for example, niches or simplify or, um, or Jarvis. And let me exit out of that. Now this is the short form. They also have long form and they call it their Shakespeare AI. So you just need to put in the title and then a brief content, a content brief. And then you can do output length, short, medium, or long. And then you can have the AI write for you or instruct it. And then you can uh, save all of your liked samples here, your history, version history as well, and also editor settings. So you can change the language. You can tell it how many inline ideas you want to generate at a time. I'm gonna do the max, which is five and then show ideas in line or sidebar, okay? And last one is export the file. So let's just try um, a use case. So let's do what's good. Let's just do, um, let's do blog content, blog intro and select task. Okay, so blog post title, what's the title of the piece? So I pulled up, this is one of my affiliate sites and how does a diffuser work? Okay, let's just see, you know, if we can create a blog, um, blog intro for how does a diffuser work? I'm gonna click generate and it should be generating five 
actually it generated three but under settings inline okay that's inline okay that's that's not an issue so let me go back here so it generates three and a diffuser is a device used for distributing fragrance throughout a room in this article we will look at what a diffuser is and how they work understanding how a diffuser works can help you find the best one for your hair and also check this one out before buying a diffuser it's good to get a handle on how the machines work so on and so forth so i think these are not too bad um the two the first one is the best one i think and then the second two are okay so if you like it you can just click on this one and then it'll drag it over uh, you can also paste text at the cursor position so depending on where your cursor is you just uh, paste it there and then it'll appear and then you can uh, generate ideas similar to this one you can like it and then you can copy to the clipboard and then you know paste it maybe here or whatever wherever you want to okay and then if you want to generate ideas similar to this one you can just click on that and then it'll start generating new ideas Okay, you're new to essential oils and you want to buy a diffuser. Okay, diffuser are great to way to make your home smells as nice as it looks. There are scents that are always welcome indoors. Okay, so say for example, I like this one. I can uh, uh, paste text at the cursor position and there we go. All right, so let's try a different one. So let's just say we want to do a landing page hero text okay so how does a diffuser work I'm gonna generate that how do diffuser works bedtime story okay not that great all right um, let's just change the input here product description, the best essential oil diffuser. Let's click on generate. Preview health and home life. They're only room with you you'll ever need. This one is actually good. I can put it in there and then just move it. So the outputs are okay. You know, they're, um, they're not too bad. And yeah, you can you know just go through and see whichever you like. Again, their their um, their use cases are I think on the more limited end. So let's try the Shakespeare AI. So title of the content of the document: How do how do diffusers work? Content brief: I want to write an article about the steps on how diffusers work okay output length long and I'm gonna say write for me okay so if you're like many people you'd like to improve your health and home life a diffuser can help you do both essential oils can improve your mental and physical well-being by using a diffuser you can enjoy the benefits of essential oils anytime anywhere okay that's actually not too bad i'm not sure what this icon is here uh, but i'm just going to delete it so you can you know highlight things and then rewrite it expand it condense it or you can instruct the AI, you can simplify it, right? And then this just tells you the length of highlighted text. So let's just say I want to expand it, all right? By using a diffuser, you can enjoy the benefits of essential oils anytime, anywhere. Expand. Wait, did it work? Let me do that again. Okay, for whatever reason, it's not working. That's weird, let me Okay, yep, the expand is not working. So let's just try to rewrite it, okay? Let's just try to rewrite it. Let's try to rewrite this sentence. Yeah, it's not working for whatever reason. Um, condense, yeah, that's interesting. So a little buggy, let's just continue writing. Diffusers come in all shapes and sizes. 
All right, so let me expand. Yeah, so it's buggy, guys, all right? That's something to uh, keep in mind. And it's actually, you know, copywriting runs left, long form runs left are kind of dwindling. So I'm basically trying to work with this, but my credits are going down. So a little concerning. Uh, so these are the liked examples. You could see history. And let's just do something else just for the sake of this video. Um, what are the benefits of essential oils? An article explaining all the health benefits of essential oils. All right. And then you can actually instruct it to. And just let it load. Okay, I'm not sure where it went. It uh, let's just do that. Instruct. Okay. Yep. So, yep. A little buggy. <laughs> uh, also, another thing. The other, uh, the other day when I was, when I was kind of you know using this tool. You notice how, so this is one of the things that I dislike about the tool, the white space around the document, all right? So if you are writing, if you are writing, all right? So say for example, you're right here. Like sometimes when you're kind of just looking at this, you think that this is the last sentence, but it's actually not. You need to scroll to view the other text. So that's one of the things I dislike about the tool. And the second thing I dislike is uh, the write for me. It's not as good as it as the other tools out there like um, like niches, I think, is a little bit better. And also Jarvis is better. Uh, so this is the other thing that I dislike about the tool. Unfortunately, in today's video, it wasn't working. And uh, and that's that's kind of like the unfortunate thing about it, right? So you can kind of continue to use it if you want to. Let's just try, you know, medium. Also, another thing too is the third thing I dislike is the fact that the cursor disappears while you are generating new text. All right, so, all right. So right now I don't know where my cursor is. So if I say, for example, if I am Okay, say for example, this is my text. Okay, this is my text. And then if I wanna go here, and then I want to say, for example, do more edits and, and things like that, or if I want to um, do another uh, content rewriter, select task, you know, I can uh, paste text at the cursor position, but where the heck is my cursor position? I don't know. I don't know. So if I click on this, it adds it here. But if, for example, your cursor was, you know, maybe in the middle of of this sentence here, if you do that, whoa, you know, where did it place? Where is it? Where is the new text? I don't know where the new text is. There's no space before and after. There should be a space there. Uh, so you need to be very, very careful of where you put your cursor. All right, so that's something to keep keep in mind. And uh, let me say, for example, let me write for me. Shakespeare's writing for you. Let's see what happens. I really hope this works out. Okay, but why is it? <laughs> why did it load here? And then you can't really see, right? So, you know, say for example, I'm here. And then I want to, um, okay, like, uh, you know, write for me. Okay, it's writing for you. Let's see. So did it write for you or not? Who knows? You need to scroll and then it loads. But where did it start? You know, where did it end? It's very, like, you know, it's just, 
And it's also, it's a, uh, yeah, it's not good. It's basically replicating everything over and over and over again. So um, I think the long form editor definitely needs work. Um, so I really hope this tool can improve. Um, but if you are in need of an AI copywriting tool, and if you don't have one, uh, they are on a lifetime deal starting at 59 bucks on AppSumo. There's only two codes, up to two codes you can purchase. So if I was interested in purchasing this tool, which code should I get? One or two codes? Uh, I would get the double code because you are uh, limited with uh, long form AI runs per month. All right, so basically whenever you run this, it deducts the long form code, the long form uh, numbers you have. All right, so um, I would go for the higher one and you have unlimited short form AI runs per month, which is good. Now you can do an add-on, which is an unlimited long form AI runs for 19 a month. So instead of 65, it becomes unlimited. This is, you know, I would say on the higher end, um, I think you can use other AI tools that are on lifetime deal that might be a better fit for you. I think Writer is a really good one. Um, so, you know, I would just do the double. I wouldn't, I mean, if you really want to, you could do the add-on, but I don't think it's, it's necessary, honestly. Um, the single is good only if you want to do the short form AI runs. And, um, but if you do want to purchase GoCopy, if you purchase uh, with my affiliate link in the description, I want to offer you two bonuses, all right, which will help you become a better copywriter. Uh, the first bonus is actually a free 13 point uh, copywriting checklist that I created. And it basically is a checklist that you can go through to make sure that you are covering all of the copywriting essentials to make sure your copywriting is very uh, compelling and it draws home any important um, information that you want to include in your sales copy or blog copy. So this I will send to you completely free. And the second bonus that I wanna offer you is a free PDF, which is about, which is titled Persuasive Copywriting, Using Psychology to Influence, Engage, and Sell. So if you want to be a serious copywriter and if you want your copy to be compelling, if you want it to be engaging, and if you want to use your copy to sell, uh, you can use um, this free PDF. It's over 200 pages, and it basically tells you, teaches you about emotion, how to use emotion in your copywriting, um, the importance of incorporating three big ideas, um, to add before you talk about the benefits of whatever product or service you are selling, um, process for developing customer empathy, uh, flattery, uh, how to use copywriting in your social media. All right, so really, really good uh, book about persuasive copywriting and you will get this completely free. Um, if you purchase through my affiliate link, there should be a second link that you f uh, fill out. I'll go through in my back end and then confirm you and then I'll email you these two bonuses, all right? So um, if you like this, please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. If you wanna do more research about other AI copywriting tools out there, be sure to click this video about Simplified and also this video about Jarvis and Niches. All right, I'll see you in the next one.